This is actually insane. There is going to be over a hundred fixes in the next Helldivers 2 patch. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the channel. So, yeah, what we've got here is Twinbeard over on the official Discord has dropped a bit of a meme. And, uh, it, well, it includes some information on what we're actually going to get in this massive update. And it does look like this is the biggest, like, categorically, the largest update, patch-wise, the game is going to have to date. And this it just looks incredible. Look at this. So this is the meme in question. Now, this is posted by Twinbeard, community manager over on the official Discord, and it's in the announcements channel. So basically, this is what he says. <laughs> Patrols and spawn rates reverted. Visible supply lines and attack origins. Invite-only lobbies. Super samples at level 6. Unlimited grenade fix. And over 100 changes and fixes. So let's break this down. Patrol rate and spawn rate reverted. Yeah, we know this is going to happen. Twinbeard actually told us about this a while ago. I think it's, it was meant to be a hotfix, but obviously they're just wrapping this into the bigger update. You know, why not? At this point, it's been so long now without a balance update to the game. I think we can wait. This is good news because it means that the spawns are going back to how they used to be, if you guys remember. It's just a lot better to play with. They're not just going to randomly pop on top of you. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be way better. So uh, this is good. Good news. Um, they decided not to actually, I guess, fix the current spawns. Instead, they were like, why did we even change them? Let's revert back to them. So, yeah, good news. This is a highly requested one. So, visible supply lines on the map. Now, we've been asking for this for ages and ages and ages because it is essentially the primary use of some external websites like divers.gg is to see where the supply lines are. So, you can work out, if you capture this planet, what other planets then become available. Um, obviously, those websites are good for checking things like major order progress when you're maybe not you might be at work or something and you want to check it you can do it on those websites quite easy you obviously don't have to log into the game the other thing is attack origin so it's going to show you where the enemy is attacking from again that's going to be cool i think what this is going to do though is just make the map look way more interesting because at the moment yeah you can see the sectors you see the yellow for the terminates the red for the automatons but when you click on them, you don't really know what's going on inside the sector. So this is going to add a ton of data to the map. And it's just going to look cool as well. So even if you don't care about what it's telling you. And I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really affect your gameplay too much, I suppose. Uh, unless you really want to go after a specific planet to maybe unlock a different planet. Um, I mean, usually Helldivers are just all flocking to one planet, essentially, anyway. <laughs> but, and it's normally a terminated planet. Because if it's a bot major order, then it's just GG. <laughs> but yeah, this is good. Good, good change. Nice one, Arrowhead. Invite-only lobbies, that's big. Super samples at level 6, that is even bigger. And finally, a fix to the unlimited grenade spam, which is super annoying. But anyway, let's talk about samples at level 6. Yeah, about time. See, here's the thing, right? The game needs to be... How can I say this? It needs to be balanced for level 7, essentially, because that's where you get super samples from. But level 7 is quite hard. I mean, yeah, if you've been sitting there spamming, like, difficulty 9, whatever, you can play 7 and it's fine. But if you're playing at, like, difficulty 4, maybe you go to 5. Maybe even you're playing at difficulty 6. Um, but you need super samples to upgrade your ship. You've got to play 7, and it might be too difficult. So I think this actually is, is a really good change. And in fact, I think this does a few other things as well. This almost resets what the idea of the harder difficulties are. Because, yeah, the game can be completed at difficulty 6 after this update. That's massive. Every difficulty after that, it's just literally challenge mode. It's you want to try a stupidly hard mode then go for it you get rewarded you get more you know rewards you get more samples and and stuff from it so yeah it is worth it for that but obviously the difficulty is a lot higher so this is i think super interesting also it paves the sort of way for them to add you know more difficulties down the line and we all know that hell divers one had like 15 difficulties in so yeah good news and uh yeah, yeah good stuff so what about these hundred changes i mean before we try and discuss this just check this out so this apparently was what twin beard was working on uh, and he decided not to go with this because he thought it'd be a bit more aggressive but if you look at this right it's the um what is it orange county choppers meme and it's like could you stop worrying about the next patch already it's your damn fault you said it's not going to be that big i was trying to keep expectations down did you see the patch notes they're a mile long i says well next time you be a community manager <laughs> well yeah, remember, Twinbeard did say, uh, it's not that big, this patch. Well, obviously, it looks like it now absolutely is. So what is going to be in this patch? What do we know that is confirmed? Now, I'm going to forget, like, because honestly, loads of stuff has been spoken about. But I know uh, the tenderizer is going to be fixed. So it's going to have an increase in damage because it doesn't do enough damage. It does as much damage as the standard Liberator, which is stupid because that's literally the gun everybody's given for just being a Helldiver. 
Um, that's going to be fixed. But they said it was bugged. But yeah, it's going to be fixed. You've got the spear lock on is going to be fixed. Great. It doesn't work right and it should be fixed. Now, we think this will probably just be slightly better. So using the word fixed might be a bit over the top for that. But beyond that, I mean, it's like, where do you go from here? What are the other things that need fixing? What are the big issues with the game at the moment that this patch could potentially fix? Now, remember, this patch is just going to be a massive balance patch, essentially. It's going to do things like, hopefully, make weapons feel better, make weapons feel stronger, make stratagems feel better. I'd love to see some outrageous buffs to some stratagems that maybe are not even getting a lot of use. Arrowhead are going to know what stratagems are being used the most. If things like the Eagle Airstrike, I mean, it's got to be the most popular thing. But what happens if, like, the Gatling Cannon thing, the Orbital Gatling Strike, suddenly got a crazy buff or something like that? You know, things like that would be insane to see, and it would make you use different types of stratagems. I think that would be cool. But going on from just weapon balance, what about things like Bile Titans? Massive, massive debate going on about Bile Titans. You have to take heavy anti-tank weaponry to defeat them unless you're literally, you know, firing that much ordnance into them to kill them. It's just a complete waste of time. Maybe they nerf them. Maybe they make them easier to kill. Maybe they just make their underside more squishy. So even after you blow the sack off them, you can still fire, I guess, like medium armor penetration stuff into that and still destroy it. Bring them down to the level of maybe like a tank or something like that, or even a, a charger. But then again, it is a bile titan and you can understand why they wanted it to be super strong. Anyway, yeah, it forces players to take anti-tank weaponry if you're going to play against the bugs often i'm taking the eat rocket because i know it is one of the best ways to deal with them you can even take the recallless rifle that's still really really good at dealing with them a bit faster than the eat rockets if you've got um well if you eat rockets are on cooldown then it's it's tough shit here basically <laughs> but um yeah you know there's loads of ways of dealing with them but it does force a, a loadout which you don't really get that against the bots because you can deal with the bots biggest threats things like the factory strider the tank with the auto cannon and, and quite easily and the hulk so yeah there's like a whole host of things that they could change with this and what about sample cap i think that would be a massive win if they increase the sample cap i think they might have said before there they probably wouldn't look at doing that but imagine that i think a lot of people are sitting there maxed out on samples a lot of people are sitting there definitely maxed out on requisition and um medals maybe give us some other way of spending them i mean <clears throat> i'm joking but like think about the new uh, vehicle skins now what happens if you could spend medals on vehicle skins and then maybe that gets expanded to like weapon skins and all that kind of stuff? I think that'd be cool because medals and uh, I think requisition really do need looking at. You know, what about crazy stuff like being able to spend requisition to, I don't know, maybe take an extra stratagem or I don't know, make a mission more difficult, like put, turn it to super difficulty mode. I don't know. I'm going a bit over the top here. I'm sure this won't be in this patch. Um, but I think it's all super cool anyway. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Um, this patch is going to come out next week. Um, we don't have a specific date for this, but we do know that the uh, war bond is coming out on Thursday next week. So I'd imagine this just all comes out, everything together. Unless they decide to patch it on Tuesday, but I don't know. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to see what they've done to all of these weapons. If the patch notes are as big as they say, yeah, it's going to be one hell of a patch. Uh, unfortunately, though, I'm on holiday. So I might make a video on it. I might not. <laughs> it depends. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you lovely lot on the next video. <laughs> see you soon.